glory to God. Glory to God, the praise day, day which is the national day of prayer. And in times of reflection and meditating and just hearing what's going on, there's a special prayer that I'd like to pray today for the youth, teenagers, man. In the Bible day, did you know that Daniel and others were teenagers? Yeah, they were teenagers. Shadrach, Meshach, and many girls, they were teenagers. And all of the exploits that they did for God were at a young age. And I believe that has a lot to do with why there's so much violence today amongst youth and the teens. So pray with me today. Heavenly Father, I pray that you forgive me and every member of my family and all of my friends for anything we have done wrong. God, help me to forgive anyone who may have hurt me and help anyone that I may have hurt or upset to forgive me. Lord, help me to love one another. Father, we thank you today, Lord God. Amen. That we want to do what you want to do. Please come into our heart and wash us of all sins. Lord, help my family to be happy and love one another, not to be sad or mad at each other. Dear Lord, please take care of my loved ones and protect and love them as they care for me. I thank you for this wonderful day. Please show my family how much you love them and that you will always be there for them. Teach us to always come to you in prayer. I pray, Lord, that every member of my family and all my friends would accept you into their hearts so that they may will go to heaven. Lord Jesus, heal the sick so they will live a long, happy life. My God, and I thank you, Lord God, Happy and healthy life, long life. Lord, you promised us 120 years. And the spirit of sickness and infirmity and death at times has prematurely taken individuals out. But God, help us to rise up and stand on your word that says, Beloved, above all things, I wish that thou mayest prosper and be in good health, even as thy soul prospers. Lord, I thank you, Lord Jesus. Keep every member of our family, principals, teachers, friends, classmates, and pets safe from any harm or evil. Help us, Lord, to get good grades in school. Help them, Lord God, to graduate, not have to go to extra mile at this point for summer school, not to give up and discourage if they do. Lord Jesus, I pray that you protect those in leadership. When you say pray for those in leadership, that you pray protect the president, the leaders of our country, state, and their families. Lord, keep our pastors, our firemen, policemen, ambulance drivers, emergency workers, and all the soldiers safe as they do their jobs. I pray for the poor and hungry. Send people to help them and to give them, Lord God, a place to sleep. And if they are sick, please make them well and feel better. Lord, I ask you to visit the sick in the hospitals and in the prisons. Please heal them and tell them about your son, Jesus Christ. Lord, send laborers in their paths. So you said the crop is plentiful but the labors are few, but you will send forth labors, Lord God. Lord, let them not be discouraged and compromise righteousness, Lord God, in a dark place. I ask you to bless everyone that we pray for and send your mighty angels to protect all of us, Lord God. Please keep us to help us to know you better, Lord Jesus, and have more of you, Lord, in our hearts. I pray, Lord, that you will be with everyone that I have prayed for today so they will be able to know and love you the way I love you. In Jesus' name, amen. So feel free to replay this and pray it for your children. And if you're going to continue today on this day of prayer as I continue to pray for the youth and the teenagers, all right? This is a prayer for youth and teenagers to pray. So maybe you can gather your children, your grandchildren, your brothers, your sisters, and they may not know how to pray. And we're going to pray that they may be able to follow this. Heavenly Father, I, it was just such a beautiful day. I wanted to come out. So I'm not apologizing for the wind, but the breeze feels good. Heavenly Father, I know, Lord Jesus, that you are my Lord and my King, and you intercede for me. You are loving and forgiving God. And I ask you, Lord, to forgive me for all of my sins and any unforgiveness that I may have in my heart. 
I ask you, Lord, to forgive me for not always making you a priority in my life. I know you are strong and I need your help right now. I'm being tempted to do things that are not good for me. Give me strength to say no to these pressures. Help me find good and godly things to keep me busy in place of the things that my friends want me to do that may not be right. For God just said, an idle mind is the devil's workshop. Let them not be idle. God, but created, and you that created all of the universe in the name of Jesus. Lord, give me strength, Lord God, to say no to any peer pressures. Help them to find good and godly things to keep busy and things that may be evil. For you are their strength. Our strength, Lord. I know, Lord, that you understand all the temptations that face teenagers today and what it will take to keep them from being lured in the wrong directions. So, Lord, I trust in you to know my heart and keep me from these worldly traps. Help me, Lord, to receive a fully and with understanding your word in Jesus' name. Yes, your word as it reads in the book of James, the first chapter the third and the fourth verse, so that when my friends, and excuse me, so that when my faith is tested, my endurance has a chance to grow. I know that you will guide me along the right path for my life in Jesus' name, and that you will advise me and watch over me. I know, Lord, that you are my counselor and not that. I should always depend on you. I am in need of your guidance. I don't know what to do. According to Psalms 32 and 8, help me to do what you want done in all situations that I, as a teenager, must face. Please, Lord, put godly people in my path to show me the steps I need to take. I know, Lord, that there are friends who destroy each other, but a real friend sticks closer than a brother. According to Proverbs 18, 24, I ask you, Lord. To help me find the kind of Christian friends that would be closer than a brother. Help me, Lord, to be the kind of friend to others that I would want for myself. Open my eyes to see the good qualities and people around me. There are so many questions that I need to ask. And I'm torn between finding the truth and having a good time and keeping my friends. I want to do the right thing instead of wearing a mask and being a phony just to be popular. Heavenly Father. I ask for you to show me your face when I feel like giving up. Remind me of your unconditional love when I seem to have no help in me. I know, Lord, that you will continue the battle for me when I can. I want to learn to hang on to you and go to you when I'm going in the wrong direction. Help me to keep my thoughts on you when I become weak. Help me to continue to praise you during these low times. I thank you, Heavenly Father, for reaching down into my world and drawing me close to you. Thank you for allowing me to soak up your strength and during moments like these. I thank you, Lord, for never giving up on me, even when I've given up on myself. Make me into the worthwhile person you destined me to be. Teach me to know your will for my life and to be obedient to you. Do not let anything, Lord, interfere with your destiny for my life. I know you have a great plan for me. Help me to find it. I praise you, Lord, for the comfort that you bring by just listening to me. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. And so I'm standing in a gap praying on behalf of the teenagers and the sample prayer for them to pray, not just teenagers, younger children, you know, the, the, the kids, middle school, elementary school. Three, three school are being tempted and bullied with everything that's going on. Let's not take for granted that these children won't know how to pray as we teach you. You know, it says train, train up a child in the way they should go. And when they get older, they won't depart from it. With all that is going on, and I dare not put the label on the negativity and the evil people that's going on. You already know we need to plead the blood of Jesus on the young people, on the children, and teach them how to pray. For the word says, teach a child, train a, train a child in the way they should go. And when they get old, they will not depart from it. Of course, there were times in my younger years, I didn't do everything was right. I was not saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, up on again. And there was sin that I was uh, a, a part of. But guess what? The blood of Jesus washes away all sin. Amen. We can become born again. So praise the Lord. 
Glory to God. I thank you for allowing me to come and be a place. My name is Patricia Gale. I'm anchor and ambassador of good news here on the ADDCT, American Dreams Day Come True Network Television. And we want to just take the time and acknowledge prayer. Prayer. God hears and answers prayers. I want to pray now for those that may be physically challenged, amen, that need a healing, can testify that God is the God of all flesh. And there's nothing, absolutely nothing too hard to hear. You know, God says that there's confirmation by two or three witnesses. He said, if two or three will come, uh, join together in faith that he's there in the midst. So the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, me and you that's watching, come on. That's enough of confirmation for God to answer prayer. But y'all come on now. Go get some uh, Bible pens up. <laughs> um, he said, if we pray and know that he hear us, that our prayers are answered, says that he will watch over his word to perform it. So today I just want to continue to pray his word. Amen. Pray his word. This is a prayer, a hospital prayer. There are many that are sick and afflicted in the hospitals, in intensive care, coming out of surgery, going into surgery. Oh my God, there are some places where there's still not enough help. And so, but I know that when we pray that God will move, he will, he will intervene. He will send laborers in our loved ones, your loved ones can begin to speak life. The Bible says if we lay hands on the sick, they shall recover. Hallelujah. <laughs> so you may have friends and loved ones in a distant location, but word says we can send the word. And when we send the word that it will prosper in that, it was sent to do, it will accomplish that it was sent to do. And God's word says, beloved above all things, I wish that thou mayest prosper and be in good health, even as thy soul prosper. So as a man of want to think it so is he, but a person may not be able to think straight if they under all kind of medication and look to all kind of tools. So we have to stand in the gap and make up the head, believe for help, healing, miraculous healing and deliverance for your loved one. Let's pray the prayer for the hospital. Heavenly Father, we ask that you forgive those of that one in the hospital for any unforgiveness, for all of his or her sins, iniquities, trespasses, transgressions, sins of commission, sins of omission, and specifically any sins of alcoholism, smoking, abusiveness of it. You know what I'm saying? Drugs. Things that may have caused heart failure, kidney failure, and any unknown sins according to Psalms 19 and 12. According to your word in Matthew 16, 19, I, we agree, have been given the keys to the kingdom of heaven. And whatever we bind and loose on earth shall be bound and loose in heaven. So, Lord, we ask you to loose your angels in great abundance into this person's life that we bring before you, our loved one, our friend, those in the mental institution, those incarcerated, those in, 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 in the infirmity and incarceration plan, uh, places, Lord. In the name of Jesus, that your angels go in great abundance into those presence, the presence of every doctor, every nurse into their room, the surgery unit and recovery room. Now we bind in the name of Jesus Christ, all of Satan's evil, wicked demons, lying and tormented spirits and strong men, along with all their works, their roots, their fruits, their tentacles and links, along with all evil principalities, powers and rulers of wickedness in high places and command them not to manifest and to transfer and to uh, the person that we're standing in a gap with, uh, like the blood of Jesus, command them not to 
manifest, but transfer into the presence, not the doctors or the nurses present, or into their presence room, surgery unit, recovery room, and every plant that there may be. Heavenly Father, it is written in Psalms 91 and Matthew 6 in your word that you are our deliverer. And I ask that you give those that are waiting for kidneys, ah, their organ in the name of Jesus. Every gland, every cell, every bone, every muscle, every ligament in their body, total deliverance, total freedom, total liberty, and total salvation from all evil, wicked, demon, lying, perverse, unclean, foul, demonic, spirit, strong men, and their messengers. Jesus. And from all sicknesses, diseases, destructive organisms, bacteria, MRSA, viruses, and fungi, infirmities, my God, afflictions, infections, inflammations, abnormal cells, radical cells, abnormal growth, radical growth, all cancers, tumors, and disorder of any kind in every cell, every gland, every organ. And then we thank you for giving them, Lord, that this deliverance, freedom, liberty, and salvation from all things in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, according to John 16, 23. I just encourage you, baby, to pray this prayer for someone that you love. That needs a divine intervention of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask, Almighty God, Heavenly Father, you to release your miracle virtue. Yes, Father, a miracle, a testimony. We speak to that one that's in that coma. Don't wake up now in the name of Jesus. That one that's organs are affected by stroke. That it muscles be released and blood flow according to the word of God in the name of Jesus. We speak healing virtue into and put their name into their life in the name of Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Heavenly Father, I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. Under and around every doctor, every nurse, all all of them to serve you in recovery room, every place that they may be in, anybody that comes in contact with them today and every day. I ask you, Father, to render powerless and harmless and, and nullify, destroy, and cancel the power of any evil spirit, demonic spirit, demonic strong man, messenger of Satan that tries to come into their presence or anyone that is around them in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Tell them, Father, we ask you to fill room with your precious Holy Spirit. We ask you to fill them with the fruits of your Holy Spirit, including your love, my God. We rebuke oppression and depression in the name of Jesus, including, Lord God, your peace, your gentleness, your goodness, your meekness, your faithfulness, and your self-control. Heavenly Father, in Christ Jesus' holy name, we ask you to fill them with your Holy Ghost anointing and power. My God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Worship God right now. Let's give God the praise right now. Hallelujah. For moving on the behalf of our friend, our loved one. Oh, we send your word from the north, south, east, and west. There are no barriers and no boundaries, but God is omnipresent. He's everywhere. He's omniscient. He knows everything. My God, he's omnipotent. He's all powerful. So we thank you, Lord, for giving them clarity of mind, clarity of thought, that, that family members won't give up on them and, 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 and let them go, sign them off because of an insurance policy. Oh, God, we rebuke that spirit in the name of Jesus. Whoa. Whoa. Mm. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Heavenly Father, I ask you now, according to John 16, 23, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, to release your miracle virtue, your miracle anointing to them in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and ask that your miracle virtue and miracle anointing flow through every cell, every organ, every gland, every bone, every part of their body in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I ask you to give divine healing and divine health, wholeness, newness of life according to John 16, 23, in the name of the Holy 
Jesus Christ of Nazareth, help and Father ask you to let the manifestation of every miracle, every healing that you have given them be manifested in them now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Help and Father ask you to loose extra, extra angels around them, Lord, and leave them there as long as necessary. Protection, manifestation, and peace in the hospital, Lord God. To God, protect them, Lord God. In Jesus' name we pray. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. I pray that these prayers have encouraged you and bless you that the presence of the Holy Spirit manifests. Climatize the atmosphere where you are, where you're at home, in the room, in the car, out in the park like me. Let the presence of the Lord be there. I'm going to pray a final prayer on this National Day of Prayer for now. And it's a prayer for Dr. Dadar finances. Okay. And we pray for finances. You know, we are in a season and a time where there's a transference of wealth. And God says, beloved, above all things, I wish that thou mayest prosper and be in good health, even as thy soul does what? Prosperous. So I pray peace and prosperity upon you now. I'm not going to pray according to what may be common in the natural. Why don't I just decrease something? Top of why don't we decrease? You should you should decree out of your mouth what it is to be according to the word of God. There's life and death in the power of the tongue, right? So why don't we decrease some things? Rule out. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Mark, now I decree God as your word says. Be above only and not beneath the head and not the tail. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We're more than conquerors through Christ Jesus. I thank you, Lord, that you're the God of all flesh. And I decree there's nothing, absolutely nothing, too hard. Lord, I thank you, Lord God, that you make us overcome us. I thank you, Father God, that we can decree who we are. We are ambassadors of Christ. We are seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. Oh God, I thank you that we don't look to the left or the right, but we look to the hills from which cometh our help, and our help comes from you, almighty God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Mm. I decree today that every generational curse that may be linked up to the bloodline of dead of poverty that is destroyed in Jesus' name. Any part of the lineage is not attached to us. It's not a tentacle because we are joint heirs with Christ through Christ Jesus. So therefore, God, we are connected to priceless, precious, powerful blood of Jesus that was shed on Calvary. And I thank you, Lord God, for the devil burial, resurrection, and the ascension to our financial situation, God, lines up with the word of God. We decree and declare favor. We decree and declare breakthrough. We decree and declare miracle signs and wonders in Jesus' name. And I thank you, Lord, if there's anything in our heart, in our mind, that's hindering the flow, you reveal it, so we repent and make it right. We thank you for wisdom to be a steward when it comes to our finance. We thank you, Lord God, for unselfishness. If you tell us to sow, we sow. And the lives of those that we know and may not know out of obedience. For you said, we will it and obedient, we shall eat the good of the land. So I thank you, Lord God, that we are obedient and we're willing. And Lord, we have it all. Pathetic Goshen, Lord, a place, place of peace and, and, and protection and provision in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I pray that you will continue to maybe 
listen to this word of the Lord being prayed previously for the children, those that are sick, again, until it resonates in your spirit, till the anointing destroys any yoke of bondage, and you walk in victory. My name is Patricia Gell. I'm the host of Victory on the Front Line, and I love that God taught me 1 Corinthians 15, 15 says, but thanks be to God who gives us the victory through Christ Jesus, our Victory is not in ourselves. Our victory is not in what we do or possess. Our victory is not something we earn. Our victory is an anointing that we gain and walk it in the spirit, not fulfilling the lust of the flesh. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's been an honor, privilege, and blessing to be with you for this time on this national day of prayer. God bless you now. Till next time, stay tuned for the next installment of Victory on the Front Line.